<laughs> Hi, Noel. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Stephanie. Great to see you. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for uh, following Cocaine Squirrel, Don Jr., uh, who... Cocaine bear. <laughs> I mean, I that's the the problem. The Trumps, they're just, there is no shame. It is his safety regulations that were repealed that caused the derailment. He goes there, hands out, I don't know, hats and old water, and then Don Jr. talks about how brave he is to go there and breathe in. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and at the same time, criticizing Joe Biden and saying there's a fake air raid siren, which is ridiculous. And right. the reason there are air raid sirens are because... Don Jr.'s father decided to shake down President Zelensky instead of instead of sending him javelin missiles, yeah. you know, when yeah. he was president. So, you know, it's maddening. And Don Jr., I mean, don't even get me started. Like, talk about a cocaine bear. You're right. You know? <laughs> and can I just say that shows the family, right? Because when I worked around them, Don Jr. was dry, right? He, right? he was a problem drinker, drug addict when he was a young man. He got famously beat up in the comedy cellar because yeah. he got really drunk and stuff. You know, he was a troubled dude. Oh, I hadn't heard that oh, story. Tell oh, me yeah, the yeah. tell it, me the comedy cellar story. I played he, there back in the day. Right. This was back in this was like two thousand three or something. Somebody was making some kind of like kind of racist jokes on stage mm -hmm. and Don Jr. was laughing a little too loud oh, boy. at the racist stuff and he bugged a table next to him. So the guys neck at the next table told him to like calm down and shut up because he was being loud. Yeah. And Don Jr. threw a beer. Oh, oh wow. Beer on the dude's girlfriend. So the guy got up and hit Don Jr. in the head with a beer bottle, oh. which is not cool. No. You know? But two guys beat him up from Staten Island and, and, and Brooklyn, and Jeez. it became a big deal. It was the cover of the New York Post, and, and Don Sr. called up the, you know Noam's father and made him apologize to the Trumps, the owner of the Comedy Cellar. And it was this whole sort of imbroglio, but after that, Don Jr. went into a long period of not sobriety, but dryness. Yeah. You know, he wasn't drinking and yeah. all that. And he obviously relapsed during his father's administration. And yeah. we see where he's at now. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I know they're talking about Hunter Biden. And I'm like, you willingly <laughs> post these Coke rants of yourself like every week. And, and can I say one thing on that? You know, I, I'm in recovery myself. There's yeah. no shame in addiction. It's a disease. It's a family disease, right? Yeah. And, and, and it, there's no problem seeking treatment. But imagine having your family knowing you were making those videos every night, that you were a national laughing stock, that yeah. everyone in the country knew you were obviously on drugs and you were doing it anyway. And nobody was even trying to stop you. Yeah. Right. Ivanka, yeah. his dad, nobody's like, hey, we're going to send you to Betty Ford. Chill yeah. out on the Coke rant YouTube videos. Yeah. They don't even care. That oh, yeah. shows And they you. have the audacity. This is what I mean about the lack of shame to talk about Hunter Biden and his admitted addiction problems, which are in the past. And as you say, Don Jr. seems quite clearly to be very much in the present with his addiction problems. <laughs> Right. Absolutely. And not just, you know, Hunter Biden, Ashley Biden was, you know, was seeking treatment during the pandemic and they stole her diary, yeah. her recovery diary, which yeah. was she was basically writing a first step in, got stolen by Project Veritas, stolen yeah. by a guy. He sold it to Project Veritas and they passed it around Trump fundraisers in yeah. Florida. Oh, Even yeah. Don Jr. was at one of those. So it's the shamelessness knows no bounds. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chef Shanti, and today in the Organic Kitchen, I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite breakfast burrito.